Hello everyone, I'm Izidin Osman and in this tutorial I'm going to show you basically how to create tables and charts and how to insert formulas and functions using Microsoft Excel. Let's say you have clicked this particular Microsoft Excel button to launch the program. So the first thing you're going to see is this particular interface that lets you to choose a blank workbook or even to choose an, an, an existing file which you've created previously. So uh, I'm going to choose this blank workbook first to show to you all an empty worksheet. So basically this is a blank work, workbook or worksheet of Microsoft Excel. So notice that in this particular program, you can see many, many boxes or cells that, sh that we can use to actually generate tables or charts. So um, this particular column of this particular cell is called the column header. Whereas if I click in this particular row, this particular row it is called the row header so whenever I click any cell Microsoft Excel will actually show to us the cell reference of the cell which you have selected so now uh, currently I'm going to select this G5 cell and the cell reference is showing here so you can notice that um, the above menu here is called the ribbon whereas if you click any tab it will give you unique buttons that represent its own category so like um, you've seen this kind of interface in uh, Microsoft Word it is very similar to Microsoft Word like in home button I can actually bold or make any text bold italic or uh, underline or I can even change the font and the font size here so I'm going to close this first um, and open up this particular file which I've created previously okay in this tutorial we are going to basically generate this kind of table there are three tables which we are going to generate the student marks table the class timetable and the quotation list table so we are going to familiarize all the buttons and functionalities of Excel by building this table okay so in order for me to build this student marks table I need to create another worksheet so I'm going to click this button to create a new worksheet so I'm going to click sheet number three first and click this particular button to add a new worksheet on my workbook so now I'll get sheet number four so this one is a new worksheet so we are going to generate this particular table in this sheet number four so I will click back the sheet number four to select all of the cells so you can click and drag like this or you can even click on this particular part here to select all you can click here to select all and I will maintain using my font as Calibri and increase my font size to 16 so I'll have a bigger font size for my text so as you can see in sheet number one the title of the table is called students marks so I'm gonna click this sheet number four and I'm gonna type here students mark and press enter so notice when I click on this cell Microsoft Excel will actually display the cell reference of this cell which is B1 so let's say if you want to edit this cell 
you can just go ahead and double click on this cell and you can see the cursor is blinking on that particular cell and you can just place your cursor here and type the alphabet S if you want to edit this current cell and press enter you can also click on this particular cell and press F2 on your keyboard to edit the cell like if I if I were to click somewhere here then suddenly if I want to go back to this cell and I want to edit this text on this cell so I'm going to press F2 on my keyboard and I can just type again in this particular cell to edit the cell or you can double click on this particular cell double click on the cell and you can see the cursor is blinking there showing that you can edit this particular text over here so now I'm going to click sheet number one to see the data fields of this table which is number name test one test two test three and so on so i'm going to click sheet number four and i'm going to click here and type number click here i will type name so name data field the name for the student is quite long so I'm going to increase my column width over here by putting my mouse in between the column header of C and D so you can see this pointer is changing from this white cross to this margin pointer so I'm going to click this click this margin pointer here click and drag so I have a bigger bigger space for me to enter the name for the student so you click sheet number one you can see there's test one test two test three like that so i'm going to click sheet number four and just click here and i'm going to type test one click here type test two so you can also move this cell pointer here from one cell to another by using an arrow key so now I'm moving one cell to another cell by using my arrow key on my keyboard you can also move the cell pointer from one cell to another cell by using the mouth the the arrow from the my keyboard the arrow key from my keyboard so I'm going to type test 3 now type test 4 you can also select all of this text which you have entered in this individual cell select all this text like this click and drag mouse click and drag from test 1 to test 4 and release your mouse key and just move your mouse this white cross over to this part of the selection and you can see a small black cross and now you drag click and drag for test 5 test 6 and test 7 you can see now uh, Microsoft Excel can generate all these data fields by using the mouse clicking and dragging okay I'll show you again by clicking undo so I'll click undo first I'll select this test 1 test 2 test 3 and test number 4 mouse click and release take my mouse pointer and put it over here you can see the small black cross click and drag for test 5 6 7 and 8 so you can see on sheet number one this data field consists of test one two three four five six seven and eight but this particular test eight we're going to change it to project so i'm going to change this to project so i'm going to type double click here to edit the text and type project notice that this text is longer so i'm going to increase my column width so that it is wider so this is test one two three four five six and seven with the project marks over here 
So I'm going to select all of this and choose Center Align. Click Center Align. So this part is for the numbering. So I'm going to select this um, this particular cell first. Okay. This is the part that we are going to enter the numbering. So we are going to enter 1, enter 2. Enter. Select both cells. Click center. Align. Okay. Select these two cells over here. Take your mouse and put it over here until you can see the small black cross. Mouse click and drag until you reach to number 10. So Microsoft Excel can actually generate this numbering automatically. And this name is, uh, the first one is Alex. So I'm going to type Alex here. The second one is Richard. So I'm going to type Richard here. And Jennifer so I'm going to type Jennifer here so if you want to copy all of this data and paste it over here you just need to select select all the data here right click on the selection choose copy or you can even use the shortcut keyboard control C Control C, but in this case, I'm going to select using my mouse. My mouse, select all this data here using my mouse. Right click, copy, or Control C. Notice that this selection has a blinking border like this, showing that it is marked. The selection is being marked, and it is activated over here. So you just need to click your click the sheet number four, which is your destination. Click this cell which is this the cell that you want to land or paste all of the data which you have, you have copied previously so right click here and choose paste all right so i've pasted all of this so notice all of this data is pasted along with the bordering so if you want to border everything you can select everything select all these cells and choose bordering here all border so I'm going to choose all bodies to border everything so I've got I've got my names to the names ready here okay so um, notice that all of these marks are in percentage format right so before entering this data or input this data you need to s format all of the cells to become percentage format so how to do that you got to select all the cells right click format cell you can choose percentage over here click OK or you can select all of the cells including this and choose this percentage button over here under this home tab so i'm going to click this to format all of these cells to become percentage format all right so when i enter the data here 85 so it will become automatically in percentage so i'll type 85 here so you can see that this is in percentage format so this is Alex has a test one score of 85% for test one, 80% for test two. So I'm going to type 80 here, 78% for test three. So 78 here, 56 and 58. So click here, type 56. Click here, type 58. 84 and 77 84 and 77 for the project marks Alex scored 63 percent 
of his of his uh, project mark so I'm going to click here type 63 percent where whereas all the data for the respective cells here you can click sheet number one select all of this data here right click copy and you can transfer it all to here right click paste okay you can select everything here and centralize everything by clicking center align okay so you can also color this data field over here select all of the cells first and choose the color over here let's say I choose purple and let's see if I want to color my text font here I will open up this text font color here choose white color and I can also make it bold so now I have constructed this table notice on this table right this test one only consume 10% of the total marks all right whereas test 2 also only consume 10% of the total marks so how to actually type this 10% label on the same cell so I'm gonna go back to sheet number 4 I'm gonna increase my row height by taking my mouse put it here I can see you can see the margin pointer is coming out like that click and drag downwards like that I'm going to make all of this I'm going to select all of this cell right click format first I go to alignment and I go to vertical top to to make all the labels will be located at the top of the cells so if I were to cl double click inside the cell the cursor will appear on the cell but if I want to push the cursor down for the second line so I will type on my keyboard alternate enter I will use my keyboard alternate enter and I'll type 10% like that okay so uh, basically you have to do that on all of the cells so double click on the cells you press L enter on your keyboard and you type 10% and repeat the steps on the other cell So I will double click test 4 cell and I will press alternate enter and I type 10% double click test 5 alternate enter and type 10% you can also press F2 on the keyboard to edit the cell so I press F2 on the keyboard and type alternate enter and type 10% double click on test 7 alternate enter and type 10% and I'll click this project cell over here and press F2 on my keyboard if I want to edit the cell the cursor is coming out like that and I just press alternate enter on my keyboard and type 30% So more or less you have uh, I have constructed this table which is very similar to this table so if you want to generate a basic formula like um, you want to add in a formula for example if I want to set test 2 will be multiplied by a number let's say 5 so test score number two is multiplied with the number five with the value five so if you want to generate that kind of formula you have to click in this cell right click on the data cell over here which is respective to test two now it's showing the cell reference like this 
So if you want to multiply, you, you'll be using the asterisk symbol to multiply and multiply with the value of 5 and press enter. Notice that it gives the answer 4 here because this format, this cells formatting, right, is not in percentage mode. So I have to delete this first, select all of the cells, right click, format, and choose a number or choose a percentage. Okay. So I'm going to click here. If I want to generate a formula, I have to press the equal symbol click test two data over here and times it with five so 80 percent times five is 400 percent so if you want to copy all this formula to its respective rules you have to you have to just take your mouse put it over here until you can see the small cross over here click and drag it down like this so all of these respective data will be multiplied with the, with the value 5. Okay, let's say I want to change my formula. I want to change my formula to test 6 minus with test 1. Okay. So if I want to generate this formula of test 6 value minus with, with test 1 value, so I just click this particular cell over here, press equivalent, equal symbol, click the data on test 6 minus with test 1. Press enter. Alright, so test 6 which is 84 minus with test 1 which is 85 so 84 minus 85 will equal to negative 1 percent so if i wish to copy all of these formulas onto its respective rules i just will uh, i will just take my mouse put it over here click and drag until i reach to the bottom of the table so I'll give you another example. Let's say if I want to generate another formula. Test 7 plus with test 3. So if I want to generate this formula of test 7 plus with test 3 score marks, I just click this cell first, type in equivalent symbol, click test 7 data, type in the symbol plus, and click test 3 data, and press enter. So, in this case, it's 77 plus 78 will result to the calculation of 150 so if you want to copy this particular formula onto its respective cells you just have to click this particular cell take your mouse put it over here click and drag it until you reach to the bottom of this table so those are the basic techniques if you want to generate formulas in Excel so I'll just delete this first. Okay, now I'm going to generate the total marks for these uh, particular student marks. Total, I'll type here, total marks. So uh, notice that this particular label is aligned to the bottom of the cell. So I'll just click this particular cell, right click format cell, go under alignment, change this particular horizontal alignment to center, go to vertical alignment center also, click OK. You can make sure you can also make it bold on this particular cell. So notice on this data fields, right? 
Test 1 only consume 10% of the total marks along with test 2, test 3, test 4, test 5, 6 and 7. Also with the project, project consumes 30% of the total marks. So you need to apply a formula to calculate this. So I'm going to generate this formula now. So I'll click this button. Alright, so click this cell. Type in equivalent symbol. Click this particular cell for test 1. You have to times the value with 10%. To convert this particular score marks into this 10% of the total marks. So I will plus it with this cell times it with 10, 10% and plus it with this cell and times it with 10%. Plus it with this cell with that particular value and times it with 10% to convert it to 10% of the total marks and plus it with this particular cell value times it with a 10% plus this particular value times it with 10% plus this particular value and times this with 10% plus this particular value and that particular project mark value will consume 30% of the total mark so I'm going to times it with 30% and press enter to see the total marks of this particular student marks. So I'm going to click this cell first and take my mouse and position it to the to the this bottom part over here until you can see the small black cross. Click and drag until to the bottom of this particular table. So I have generated all of this table and I have calculated the respective total marks based on this percentage given here. So let's say you want to total up all these score marks for test number one. So I'm going to add another field here called the total. So I'm going to mark it as purple color and color this text as white color so if I want to total up this particular values here I can just click this particular cell go to this particular button over here or function over here open up this and choose sum so Microsoft Excel will automatically select all the values on the top here so you, now you just need to press enter and Microsoft Excel will actually plus all of this value together. So you can also click here and copy all of this particular formula. So if you need to format all of these cells into percentage, you can just select and choose percentage over here. Let's say I want to generate a formula called the average. So this average formula will actually calculate the average of all of the score marks over here. So I just need to click this cell, open up this formula function, choose average, and reselect all the data of the score marks excluding this particular total marks over here. So I'm going to click and drag to select from number 1 to number 10 and press enter. So 73% is the average of the, the whole total marks from the whole students for test 1. So if you wish to copy this 
formula onto its respective cell you just need to drag from here until you reach here let's say you want to calculate the maximum marks of the score marks and also the minimum marks of the score marks indicated in the table here so you just have to mark the this data field click this cell first right click the cell first open up this function choose maximum and reselect the data range so that uh, Microsoft Excel knows that this is the only range that we want to associate with and then press enter so 98% is actually the highest mark for test one so you can see here right 98 is the highest of this list of the score marks here so click this 98% cell and copy to its respective cells over here click for minimum point right so no uh, for minimum score marks if you want to calculate minimum score marks you have to click on this cell open up the formula here choose minimum and select all of the cells and press enter so we get 54 percent down here and you can also click and drag over here to copy all of this formula to its respective cells if you want to generate charts on this particular table you need to select all the data related to the chart so i'm going to select from the name from all of the names to the marks excluding the numbering here so i'm going to select from the name the test okay from here to here basically and i'm going to click insert i'm going to click this particular you can gener generate uh, several charts if you want to so microsoft excel give you many many charts which you can generate so i'm going to choose this one so but you can choose uh, other charts if you want to like pie charts or histogram or line chart so you can open up this and choose 3d column so microsoft excel will generate the chart for this table it will look something like this so if you want to edit for this chart title you can just click here and edit the text over here So if you want to change the color of the bar, you can just select one of the bar, right click, click format data series, and you can go to this fill in line, choose fill, choose solid fill, and you can change the color. Let's say I change it to red color. So it's going to change to red here right now. So if I will click this particular bar, if I want to change it to another color, I just can click fill, click solid fill and change it to other colors if I want to. So now I'm just going to delete this chart for a while. Let's look upon to sheet number two right now. Okay, sheet number two describes the class timetable. So we are going to generate something like this in our next exercise. So let me just um, close this part for a while.
I'm going to close this format sheet for a while. So in order for you to construct this table, you need to use another sheet. So we, we already used sheet number four to create this student marks table, right? So I'm going to click this particular new sheet button to create an, another sheet, a new sheet. So I'm going to select all and increase the font size to 16 to make it bigger. So it is um, for better visual. So you can see here, sheet number two, this table is titled class timetable so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna click sheet number five here click here and type class timetable so you can click upon this sheet number two you can see this um, table is categorized by days and time so we're going to use four cells in doing this right uh, but before we want to use this cell we want to adjust the column width of each cell over here you can see if i click this cell if i go to format column width i can see the width of each cell is, is 10. so I click ok now Let's click number sheet number five and select all of these cells and just choose format column width 10 to increase the column width so I have a bigger width for each of my cell over here so I'm going to type I'm going to use these four cells to create days and time so I click here and type days I click here and type time I can also select these four cells over here and body it using outside border if I click here right I open up this and choose draw border so I'm going to click this drag it until here click and drag it until here so to cut to partition this particular cell over here so I press escape right now and I'm going to select these two cells right to merge it right merge it so you can see if I can select this and merge it so I can combine these two cells you can also copy the merging to all the respective cells down here so I'm gonna click this one and use my small black arrow click and drag until I reach down here so this one represents Monday so I'm going to type Monday here I'm going to click this and take my mouse until I can see the black the small black cross over here click and drag it until you can see Saturday same goes with sheet number two table over here Monday to Saturday so this is 8 to 9 9 to 10 10 to 11 11 to 12 12 to 1 1 to 2 so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually draft this so I'm gonna click sheet number five so this particular two cells over here I'm gonna merge and center it first all right and i can copy the merging right to its respective cells by using the small black cross over here so one two three four five six so this is one two three four five six so this is gonna be one two three four four five six and you can double check on the column width over here so column width uh, for this one is um, you can click format and go to column width this is showing 16 so I'm going to increase the column width to 16 click this click format click column width and type in 16 over here click OK so I'm going to select all these respective cells and go to format column width and type in 16 click OK so I'm going to type here 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So those are the time for this class timetable. And then 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 p.m. 
to 1. And lastly is 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So um, I'm going to select all of this cell, right click and choose format and go under alignment change the horizontal alignment to center along with the vertical alignment also center and click ok so all of this data is centralized so you can get back to sheet number two to see the table so we got already this part so you can see for this part these cells are merged some of the cells are merged for this part so so i can click here sheet number four uh, sheet number five so select these two click merge all right and i will type math in this particular cell so go back to sheet number two this one is english so i'm going to type english this one is history so i'm going to type history here This one is science and notice here the cells are merged together. All right, for the science. So I'll select these two cells and click merge and center and type science over here. So I'm click here, click here to centralize this, click here to centralize that. So you got this part already. If you want to color this particular cell, you can just go ahead, choose the color over here. If you want to color the text inside the cell, you can just choose it from this particular button. Choose white color, make it bold. All right, you can see from here. English is blue color, so I'm gonna click here, choose blue color. I'm going to click uh, for history is yellow so click history choose yellow and for science is kind of orange so click here I'm going to choose um, orange color so you can repeat all the steps for this onto the other cells in creating this table so once you already created, already um, input all the data in, so you need to select this part and border it. Open up this, choose all border, select all of the cell and choose, open up this, choose all border to border everything. Okay, so we'll move on to the next exercise, which is this quotation list table. So if you want to generate this quotation list table, you need to enter the title first for this quotation list. So I'll need to create another sheet. So I'm going to click this button to create another sheet. All right, this is the new sheet, sheet number six over here. I click and drag to park it over here. So if I click sheet number three, that shows the title of this table. So I'm going to click sheet number six, click this particular um, button over here to select all. Open up this and choose 16 to increase the size of all of the cells of this of, of this font. So I'm going to click here and type quotation list as my title of the table. So I'm going to look upon to the sheet number three. You can see this particular table consists of quotation number, company, document date person in charge and so on so I'm going to click this type here quotation number so you can see uh, I misspelled this particular quotation number so I just click this particular cell and press F2 on my keyboard to edit the cell so I just click here and type the alphabet T so I increase the column width for my quotation number. So after quotation number is company name. So just click here, type company. Click over here, increase the column width. Go to sheet number three again. This one is document date. So click over here, type document date. 
go back to sheet number three this one is person in charge so I'm going to type person in charge here so I did a mistake here I misspelled this particular text so I need to click in this cell press F2 on my keyboard I'll backspace this and fix my spelling over here so quotation number company name document date person in charge email so I'm gonna click here email all right um quotation amount so I'm gonna click here and type quotation amount go back to sheet number three this one is remarks so I'm gonna click here increase this column width first and I'm gonna click here and type remarks so if you wish to color this label all of these data fields select all the cells go to the fill color button here choose purple color you can even change the text color over here and make it bold it can centralize also here okay so this particular table consists of quotation number company name document date person in charge email and quotation amount so basically the format the format of these cells for document date must be in date format so i need to select all of these cells initially to format all of the cells into date format so I'm going to select all the cells which is corresponding to document date select all the cells right click format cells and choose under number choose date choose English United Kingdom and choose this particular date date format and click OK as for this particular cells this particular cell is, is all in currency format which is the dollar format so I'm going to select this and choose the dollar format here click this okay so the first row for this table is QVTH19108 so I'm going to type here Q slash VTH slash one nine slash one zero eight. So that is the quotation number for this particular cell. So uh, for the company name is PPT for this particular rule. So I'm going to click this and type PPT all in capital and the document date for this quotation is 2nd February so I'm going to type 2nd February 2019 so I'm going to type 2nd February 2019 all right and the person in charge is Alex so I'm going to type Alex here and so on okay so that that is how you actually um, enter the the data on all of these cells including the quotation amount which is 55,200 so I'm going to type here 55,200 and press enter so automatically Microsoft Excel will convert the value which I've typed here into dollar format so I can also um, select all the respective data here right click copy right and open up my sheet number six here and select here right click paste to paste all the other respective cells so i'm going to select all everything here and make it center align and increase this column width right so in this particular cell for this email I just select this right click copy and transfer it to sheet number six click here right click paste 
okay along with the remarks stated over here click here right click copy click sheet number six click here right click paste all right so I'm going to select all of this and I can also choose centralize like this I can also select this and reborder everything using all border so let's take a look on sheet number four again this let's say you want to add a filter formatting on this table so what is filter formatting actually you can just select all these data fields like this and click under data choose filter filter lets you to um, select a particular data by using a drop down list like this let's say if I select all I deselect all and let's say if I choose Alex and Jennifer so Alex and Jennifer marks only will be visible on this table all right so I hope this particular tutorial can benefit all of you in understanding Microsoft Excel from basic to intermediate level so um, if you have anything to ask you can just comment down below and hit subscribe thank you very much